Hi, this is MXUX. I just want to, you know, workhorse and uh, ride stock drop today. And there's been some questions about uh, Steve Burns and workhorse. So I'm going to just go over some information I found. Uh, you know, this is from the uh, Cincinnati uh, Business Journal. And this is November 9th, so not too long ago. Uh, Workhorse received a purchase order for 500 of its C1000 delivery vehicles. Pritchard, it's a commercial uh, wholesale vehicle distributor, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, Steve Schrader, CFO of Workhorse, said the purchase order was about $40 million transaction. company had a backlog of 1,200 vehicle orders before adding the Pritchard Company's order. It's a big order. Workhorse delivered five vehicles to Pritchard Companies in the third quarter and expects to deliver 500 vehicles in 2021. They liked what they saw and they made an order for 500. So, you know, I could go on about this. Um, there's a giant UPS order. It just goes on and on. So this stock went down today. I don't think we need the post office order, really, once this thing gets going. But uh, I think we're going to get it anyway. Well, let me just go to this tab. Now, everybody's slagging on Steve Burns and the management of uh, uh, Lordstown Motors. I just want to go. This is from Freight Waves. This is a year ago, about October 23, 2019. And Workhorse joins uh, Joint Venture. Now, this is when Steve Burns was just with Workhorse. This is what got me interested in Steve Burns. I saw a display of this at a trade show. This is a two person private drone. And. Uh, it's got an up and down button and it basically that's it it goes on autopilot it's it maps everything and it goes according to FAA rules and you just pick the destination and it takes off and it flies there and it lands and all it's got in it is an up and down button so that you can go up and down in it you can take it up to the right uh, uh, altitude and fly where you're going and go down I thought it was so cool the coolest thing about this is if you see these uh, slits here right here uh, the arms fold down and it fits in a normal parking space. The real model has wheels on the uh, on down here, uh, small wheels so that you can push it, I guess. But the point is, these arms fold down. You can fit this in a, a normal garage or a normal parking space. And I know everybody's saying, well, that's kooky, that's nutty, it's a nutty idea, you know. Well, let's just get through it. Um, uh, Electric truck maker workhorse is selling its. This is called Surefly Flying Car Project to, to Moog Inc. for four million dollars. Uh, it's tr raising money to, uh, to build its uh, C100s. Uh, so, uh, workhorse at this time had eleven 1 hundred. Uh, uh, the largest uh, 1,100 orders, they had a 500-unit order from uh, UPS. Anyway, the point is, the personal copter project, the Surefly, the thing we just saw, is, the, is a passion project of Steve Burns, who left, now this is like a year old, who left the position in February. Uh, Burns displayed the Surefly North American Auto Show in January. Um, some of the Surefly uh, technology is uh, is part of the Horsefly. So uh, the Horsefly was a spinoff from uh, this Surefly, which was Steve Burns' passion project. Um, now what they did was they sold off uh, the Surefly. Um, it was kind of a sacrifice to get into a working joint venture uh, with this Moog and another company. Uh, the unmanned operations group, this USOG, uh, is doing a medical uh, delivery with drones, and they want to. They wanted to use it. That's part of Moog. 
uh, unmanned systems de described as a provider of end to end uh, unmanned medical delivery logistics, uh, blah, 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 enable nationwide medical deliveries by uh, UAV. Uh, I couldn't think of a better application. Now, you got to understand something. This is before any of the Rona was in the picture. So, I know, you thought, uh, everybody, you look at this drone thing back in the day, was it nutty idea? Well, hey, not so much. Uh, June's uh, delivery of drones for delivery, medical is popularity, blah, blah, blah. Custom build engine, customers are able to track their deliveries through an app on their phone, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, uh, separately, so what Steve, what, what had happened was, Steve Brown was with the company, he was the CEO, he was developing this Surefly, he thought it was detracting uh, from the company, it was his pet project, he needed to sell it to raise money for the company. Uh, he left the company as CEO, because it's all this, all these uh, workhorse vans and everything were developed under him, and the pickup truck. And the Surefly, and the Surefly, and the and the workfly, uh, work the 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 horsefly drone was all developed under him. He left to sell this, and uh, while he uh, he sold it, um, he was pursuing uh, the General Motors plant. He wants to build a full size pickup. It would be based on the the workhorse pickup he was developing at Workhorse. And um, everybody's saying, well, he did a dotsy do not He didn't leave the company in a lurch. You see this. This is all step-by-step uh, step if you go through it. Uh, it's all very logical. Um, so anyway, uh, he uh, went through and uh, he wanted to uh, develop the uh, pickup truck further uh, that, uh, that he did. Um, and uh, part of this was buying the Lordstown, Ohio plant, which he got together. And, you know, if you think about it, the total addressable market, the workhorse is business to business. And that's a good business to be in. But business to consumer, which is what the endurance pickup truck is, a, is a much bigger market. So, of course, he's going to want to move to a bigger market. Of course, he's going to need to go public to raise money to go to a bigger market. So, I don't see anything wrong. Um, his people... After he got Lordstown together, his people uh, went with him from uh, Workhorse. Now, Workhorse, the, the C100 and the C, C1000, the C, it was already developed. And he sold his, uh, his uh, drone off, and the, and the Workhorse thing was, everything was already up and going when he left. And his people followed him. So it's not like they left Workhorse uh, or Workhorse in a lurch. And... Workhorse owns 10% of Lordstown Motors, and they get a, a commission on uh, every truck that's sold. So, this is this is a this is more of a business strategy. It's not uh, somebody, you know, j jumping around like a, you know, like a, a incoherent uh, chicken with his head cut off or something. And his staff left with him because they're working with him. They worked with him. They developed this workhorse pickup truck. At, when they were uh, at Workhorse and they wanted to take it to a full production because they had a lot of confidence in the product. I don't see anything wrong with that. And I just want to show you this Chevy Cruze stopped uh, production in March of last year. So this plant hasn't been, you know, it's been closed, what, a year maybe? And, and look at this. In September, Lordstown Motors hired Rich Schmidt, who was with Tesla, Director of Manufacturing Operations from 2012 to 2016 as Chief Production Officer for Lordstown Motors. This is the guy that set up the Fremont plant. He also has set up plants for Volkswagen and a whole lot of other companies. This is a heavy-duty guy, okay? And he's, uh, he's going in to set up this plant that, again, what did we see up here? Just closed in March, so this plant's still warm. So, you know, they got to reprogram, they got to realign, they got to change the line, they got to reprogram the robots. But I mean, this is a guy who can do that. Uh, workhorse and Barnier finalists for the postal contract, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, this is interesting. Uh, the, the Workhorse C1000 and C600 
uh, the workhorse design for the postal vehicle is based on the W15 pickup which was developed under Steve Burns which he is basing uh, the Lordstown Endurance on so these are all related the technology this is all Burns he got this all together uh, so anyway let's, the workhorse design for a postal vehicle is based on its W15 electric pickup listen to this so it would fit into production at Lordstown if the plant is sold to Burns that means they can produce uh, you know they're gonna they can produce the skateboards at Lordstown, who knows? Maybe even the truck, but I think those trucks are more or less the uh, the top end, you know, the bottom end, the skateboard with all the mo the mobility in it. And this this the, the workhorse trucks have have motors in them too, but a different style. Um, I think the the skateboards, the batteries, and the motors are all going to be built at Lordstown. They're going to ship them off, and workhorse is going to finish them. And yes, they'll be able to do that. Plant can do six hundred thousand units a year. And they're building a three million square foot uh, motor plant there just to build the drive systems and the battery systems. And LG is building a giant three million square foot battery plant next door. Believe me, these guys these guys are going to be able to handle that contract. All right, just to show you, this is where they uh, the horsefly uh, drone is going. This is one of the things came out of him selling the sure fly that uh, personal uh, vertical takeoff uh, thing uh, this is one of the things that came of that uh, just to show you this is the medical development drone uh, d uh, delivery drone and uh, last year workhorse group filed a, a patent to develop a trunk launch uh, package delivery system so they're gonna have a patent on this anyway it's just to show you that this is one of the things that came out of uh, Burns selling his uh, copter to Moog. Now, who is Moog? I don't know, but let's take a look. Here's their website. They are a conglomerate. They do all kind of stuff. They work in all kind of industries. Um, anyway, they, they, they have, you know robotics industrials career blah 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 anyway as these pictures scroll here and this is the Moog website it's not gonna come up I knew it wouldn't so let's go to the saved one guess what they got on their front page burns sure fly they're a defense contractor they ain't saying what they're doing with it yeah, you thought Burns was a kook, huh? Well, these guys don't think so, right? They know. So this this developed the workhorse, and also I would say these drone uh, motors, uh, you know, that, that's very similar to the hubless motors that are on the on the on the workhorse and and the endurance. Uh, but anyway, just to show you, these guys don't think he was nuts. They bought it and they got it. Not, and they didn't just buy it as a lost leader. They got it up on their website. Who knows what they're going to do with it. They do a lot of military work here. Special forces, who knows. Or private mobility, we don't know. This is a really cool thing. It's got backup motors. It's got a backup generator. Like I said, it's it's a very cool uh, thing. And the arms full done, put it in your garage. Anyway, uh, I just want to play a bit of this. I'm going to put a link to this guy's video in my. This is a look at the. Workhorse at the, C. 1000. At the, at the, at the workhorse, at the workhorse truck. And I want you to look at this truck. 27 feet long. Look how flat that floor is. There's Linear no motors space, protruding like a traditional through there. Unit. That's seven and a half inches off the ground. You'll have a. And there's the cab. Nice It's industrial, it's austere. There's their uh, uh, proprietary tracking system in place. Okay, that's all composite. That's the the whole the whole top of that is composite. It's it says four thousand pounds over a comparably no sized uh, no transmission delivery van, and uh, and this power. has 
and they don't push this predicted on the to website, be 5,000 also uses better hub motors the same type costs. of hub motors not the same these are a different it's type a of, of money motors that are developed ignited. more for this type of application the the endurance hub motors are bigger okay your charging and, um, unit anyway i just want to rear. show you that this truck is well thought out and That's this an is you know steve there. burns had a lot to do with this too so I think these people, that, you need is a these guys that are doing this, oh, he did a dozy do and he's running oh, around. And he, you know, I see a very planned career here. That's all you need. That's he's following right the there. technology. So you know, he went through several in, 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 uh, 4,000 pounds lighter uh, than the traditional unit. Several different versions of the pickup size. truck. As the technology changed, Lower to the ground, he changed more aerodynamic the design until it's finally where it is now. Unit. So he didn't abandon all those other Going to give you about 100 up to 150. It was... Going from range, hybrid to battery pure to electric. hub motor. Great okay. for the small trucks. So, and this design is based on his... Last minute uh, trips uh, the, around the town. truck design is based on this design. Great. So again, uh, very similar to what they're doing. Low the cost of maintenance. All right, I'm going to stop Some this now. You can check this out. Uh, I'll put a link in the video. Okay. Uh, that's. I hope you guys like the video. There's the workhorse van. Uh, and... Uh, Good luck in the market. There you go. And let's see if we can get a picture of that helicopter. Yeah, make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, these guys ain't making fun of it. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thank you.